Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube video all about batch processing using a macro. Don't forget my guide to Affinity Photo Astrophotography Image Processing is available on my website star-gazing.co.uk. Today we're going to talk about batch processing using Affinity Photo. Now this saves us a lot of time when you're processing lots and lots of images. So what we're going to do, we're going to open loads of images. The way we do that, and we want to work on a number of images, we go new batch job from the file menu. So open that, and then you get this window opening up here. So it tells you, asks you where you want to save those. You either save them in the original location, or you save into another location and then you can select which folder you'd like them to be saved in. And then you can select what you'd like them to be saved as. I'm going to select PNG files or you might want a TIFF file. It depends on you. So let's say a TIFF file. And if you look at my other previous video on macros, if you've created a macro, you can actually select your macro from the list here. So if you select the NLC adjustment, which we did earlier, and click apply, it appears on the right hand side of that window. And then if we leave parallel processing, because what it will do, parallel processing just does a number of images all at the same time. And then click add. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the folder where all those images are. I'm only going to select a few, otherwise it will take a long time to do. And I'm just going to select some of the raw files. Now, if you remember from the macro, when you open raw files, it automatically goes into the develop persona. If you're using the batch job, it doesn't do that. It will just work on the files and then save them. So what we've done, we've selected just five, six files in this case. For this particular sequence, I took over 200 images to create an animation but i'm going to have to work on all 200 odd pictures and apply the same curve to bring out the noctilucent cloud really really well and this batch process enables me to do that without me having to sit there and do each one one by one okay so what we've done we've told it where to save we're going to save them into the original location we're also going to save them as a tiff file and then over here, we've got applied macros and we put NLC adjustment for, which I set up in the previous video. Once you've done that, you click OK. And then on the left hand side, you see there's six items running and you can add as many or as few images as you like to that. And it'll apply that macro to each image and then it'll save it as the image that you've selected in the folder. As you see, it does take a time, so 200 or more images like I have, it can take a little while to do that. But it applies the macros to the image. So if we open one of those original images, which are some of the last ones. So I'm going to open 3775. And you can do this at the same time as it's processing. Depends on your computer, of course, because if your computer hasn't got the, uh... so you can see it's finished one, 3772, 3771 is now finished. It saved that image. So we need to develop that. Okay, so we're opening the raw image. This is 3775. And if we open 375 TIFF, so here's the original image as it was taken, and here's the processed image once the macro has been applied to this image and saved. Okay, so that's it. That's how easy it is to batch process your images. And don't forget my guide to affinity photo astrophotography image processing is available on my website star-gazing.co.uk have fun